Yes, a little bit of idle time here at my desk. Just it's lunchtime, taking a break, and I'm doing stupid things, winning stupid prizes. This is a common problem from the past where people would conduct transactions on their system with their applications and then go to lunch. We've all had that thing, especially if you're a DBA, where someone opens a transaction, takes out a critical lock on a resource, and then goes, ah, coffee time, and off they go. That creates havoc because everyone gets blocked up behind a contested resource. Now, that's not so much a problem nowadays because we very rarely have client server applications. Typically, most applications are stateless, and therefore you're doing everything through a connection pool, etc. However, the leaving a lock open while going to lunch problem still exists, just in a more um, unattended fashion. What tends to happen now is if a connection pool process dies or an app server process dies, it may be midway through a transaction and therefore it leaves a lock hanging and there's really no one there to come back from lunch. There's no one there to attend it. And so you still have the same problem where other connections in the connection pool now get stuck behind this now dead resource that still holds a lock. We have a nice simple solution to that now in the most recent versions of the Oracle database. You can now set a max idle blocker time. That is, if we have a session that is idle, not currently doing work, and has an open transaction, i.e. has some locks on a resource, and that resource is now blocking someone else from doing work, we'll automatically come in and clean up that probably dead session. You simply set max idle blocker time to a number of minutes, uh, typically, I'd look at something like maybe even as low as one or two minutes, and now we can see this in action. In session one, I'll just delete a row from my table called T and just ignore that session from now on. So I effectively have gone to lunch. Another session comes along and tries to lock that row. It's going to sit there and try and try and try. And normally, in previous times, that would wait forever because that first session is never coming back, or maybe in half an hour's time when I get back from my lunch break. But now with max idle blocker set, now after about a minute, you can see that this session actually did manage to get the lock. And the reason is if I do come back to my first session and try to do any kind of operation, you can see the session has been killed. The database has proactively found that you are a idle session that is holding other people up and therefore it's got rid of you. As a fail safe, I'd recommend having max idle blocker time set on almost every database, even if you set it to something ridiculously high, like 10, 15, 20 minutes, at least then you're not gonna have people stuck in that sort of cascading locks that go on for an infinite amount of time. So check out that parameter, it's available in all current versions of the database.